All right, today I'm changing the pace a little bit, a tiny little bit about the vlog. I have been telling you guys about Haiti for a while, but I know I haven't shown you guys anything because none of it's been ready. But I can finally package it up and get it to you guys, so I am going to take today to share about my Haiti experience. As you've probably heard me say before, I've been to Nicaragua twice. I've been to Haiti now once. That was my first time ever in Haiti. First time ever experiencing that country, those people. And it was a treat. I mean, it's it's like no other place in the world. And I mean it when I say that. I traveled down there with Bill and Father Jack. Two of the greatest guys I know. Bill is just like a wild man. He's like Superman. Chuck Norris put together, that makes Bill. And then Father Jack is one of the most, uh, like, lion and lamb figures I've ever met. Like, in one situation, he's a total lion, and in another situation, he's as quiet and as soft as a lamb. And it's beautiful to see, but it was great, fantastic, to go to Haiti with those two. Uh, but the thing about Haiti that I love the most are the people. I mean, we got to meet so many people. We got to go to a funeral, which... Funerals are very very hard to explain in Haiti. Uh, I think I got a I got a little bit of footage from it so I can show you guys But it's just the way that they mourn the way that they respect life is so beautiful We also got to go to a wedding. There's like a makeshift chapel up on a hill in the town that they want to build into a full structure, a big chapel, but they don't have the funds right now. So they have a little like shack up there that they celebrate mass in, they do weddings. So they invited us to go up there with them. Bill and I were standing in the back, Father Jack was getting ready to celebrate the mass and suddenly we hear, Bill, Kevin, they want you guys to go up front. What? So we ended up sitting pretty, pretty close to the bride and groom and priest. But that was just a beautiful experience to see, like, the culture of the community. You really got to see the music, the people, they were celebrating the wedding like I've never seen a wedding celebrated before. And in that same neighborhood that the chapel was in, we got to walk around and meet some of the poor. Just get to go door to door and pray with those who needed prayers. Thank you. 
Billy Rand, Jésus, la bonne force pour gagner la victoire. C'est pour yon l'idée, pour gagner la tête. Est-ce qu'on peut pour qu'on tout ça qu'on peut réaliser? This was probably one of, one of the most moving experiences while in Haiti. Just because there's poverty in America, but it's not the same. It's not as widespread. It's not as uh, noticeable. Like, it's palatable while you're there in Haiti. You see it. You can taste it. You can feel it. Like, it's just so... You, it's, it's an experience of a lifetime that you can really only experience while you're there. Um, but I tried, I tried to capture as much of it as I possibly could. And the main reason why we were there, there's a compound there. It's walled in. We have the Parish of Sacred Core, Sacred Heart. Go ahead. I'm at the gate of the entrance to the Pawas Sacred Core which we support. There are twin parish here in St. Monica's. So we have St. Monica's here, they have Sacre-Cœur there. We communicate back and forth, we send them funds, we really help them to run. Also on that compound with Sacre-Cœur is where Father Bordeaux lives and a medical clinic and pharmacy. is the only place that people can get medical care. And the St. Joseph's is the one up next to the, the, uh, in the big wide area. Absolutely. Next to the seminary, right? Yes. Is that St. Joseph's? No, um, St. Therese. St. Therese. St. Therese. Is that what you were saying? They, they go there, but they prefer to come here? They, they, do not, they don't want to go there. They yes. prefer to come here because they will find um, our doctor always on time, our nurse is always on time, we got medication. We got everything. So the whole hospital, I mean, this is what happened recently, but the whole hospital has been shut down for See, six, five months. That's what I'm saying. So it's yeah, been shut down. It's on strike. No other hospital, right? Absolutely. And then it's the biggest hospital in the, in the you know, in the community. In the community, but it's been shut down for five months. So if that happened, we can make it shut down tomorrow. And so those people in this they just gonna, they, they, they gonna die. Because there is no work else to go to have free medical care. Like I said, we need any image. And all of that, um, I mean, to keep it running, so that, those, I mean, that money comes from St. Monica Haiti Mission. So we went over there, visited, got to see what it's like day to day, got to talk to all the employees. And it's cool because we talk about the medical mission so often at St. Monica because it's something that comes up so often because we need to get the funds to support it, but you don't really get to see it. I've seen pictures, I've seen video, but it doesn't capture it. So I really wanted to try to capture it a little more than usual uh, just to capture as much of that clinic as I possibly could. But Haiti is a beautiful, beautiful country. I highly recommend if you ever get a chance to go, don't even think about it. Pack up your bags, go to Haiti because it's something that this video will try to capture, but something that I'll never be able to capture on film. It's something you have to live, something you have to experience, and I am forever changed because of my experience in Haiti. And I wanted to take a chance because I know I haven't shared any of it with you guys yet. I've shared bits and pieces of stories and such, but I haven't really shown you too much, and I wanted to show you as much as I possibly could.
like the gold up there. Look at the good color of the clouds right here. So I hope you enjoyed this brief break from the typical vlog, a nice little story time. Back to the regular vlog tomorrow. But choose virtue, choose life. So long for now. I didn't get the memo until fairly late. Uh, and by late, I mean on my drive over here that the dress code this evening was Hawaiian clothes.